So what is that mindset that makes you a bully's nightmare? Coming up. They tell me to slow down, but homie, I'm just living my life. Ain't gonna do what you think is right, cause that's messing me out. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jack, and you're watching the first episode of the Bullyproof series. This series is inspired by a book called Stand Strong by Nick Vujicic. I'll be able to link down in the description below so that like, you can find out more about the details. If you want more Christian perspective topics like bullying and lifestyle, uh, consider subscribing to get most out of this channel. Back when I was a teenage years, I was a victim to bullying, and many times like people would say things that just often get into my head, people be like, Hey Jackie, do this world favor and kill yourself. There's enough of you people around here, okay? That kind of hurt actually. Maybe a bully has teased you being short, uh, stupid, skinny, and even nerdy. I know being criticized and shunned is painful. What I have learned over the years is the most important mindset you must have in to counter bullying. So stay tuned in a few minutes and I'll teach you what it is. First off, experiencing the pain of being bullied can also make you a more compassionate and empathetic and understanding thankful person. I'm sure a lot of you have known this song called What Doesn't Kill You Makes You Stronger by Kelly Clarkson. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, now you know. On my bad days, I'd say, yeah, that's true, but it still hurts. That's true too. But you can use your bully's taunt as a motivation to grow wiser, to grow stronger, smarter, more confident than ever before in life. Although the bully seems to have more power against you, the most important, most, the ultimate power that you always have is the power to choose how we respond and how we live. Bullies often love to pick on people's sensitivities and insecurities. Their best defense is their offense. But here I'm gonna make you bullyproof by building a strong foundation starting from the inside. This isn't about being cocky, it's about being so secure and strong that nobody will ever be able to make you feel weak or worthless or even unworthy. You will know exactly who you are and what value you offer to the world here. This doesn't mean they won't come after you, but it'll be like beating their heads against a wall. Driving them crazy with your self-confidence is the most essential skill that you must learn to stop or even better, make them give up bullying. So how do I build up this confidence to overcome my bullies then, Jackie? We all have our strengths and we all have our weaknesses. My advice to you is to build on your strengths. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9, uh, it says, He has saved us and called us to a holy life, not only because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. Here it talks about God saved us and gave us a holy life, not because we've done anything, but because he has a purpose for us. You have a purpose, okay? Remember that. If you believe in your own value, no bully can take it away from you. If you know in your heart that God loves you and that you were created for his purpose, no bully can ever tell you otherwise. Yes, we can all make mistakes in life and sometimes we can't do everything perfectly, Learning the bullyproof equation requires you to be a friend to yourself. Forgive your mistakes, your flaws, your failures. Be kind to yourself instead and focus on the good. Okay, now I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper. I have a pen. I have a paper. Uh, paper pen. I want you to write down some strengths and successes on a separate piece of paper. Make a list of things that you would do well or people have complimented on you. So things you could include are problems you solved on your own, repair jobs you've done, good decisions you've made, cool things you've created, risks that you have worked out, and people or animals you've helped. Also write down some of these in the comments below so I can get to know you a lot more. I'm always keen to check it out. And don't worry if you couldn't write anything down cause here's the catch. Not that kind of catch. I'm sure some of you may know this phrase from a movie, if you can't find a miracle, be the miracle. Want to see a miracle, son? Be the miracle. If you can't find greatness, then become greatness. I offer my life in helping out people, being benefit to others actually benefit me so much that it actually made me a lot stronger to handle anything negative or hurtful things that come in my way. It gave me a purpose and makes me feel secure. If you feel like you haven't done enough in your life, set some reasonable goals. 
set these goals and go after by them step by step. You can write down a piece of paper like I just said. And after you've achieved them, celebrate that accomplishment and reward yourself because you're worth it. Remember, you will always succeed, but as long as you keep stretching and reaching higher, you will create opportunities to succeed. Hey guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've put down a small summary for you, so check out the description box down there. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to comment down what you wrote on the list because I'm always on the lookout. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.